Greetings everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and being here today. Today we're gonna to focus on painting a cottage with a garden. Thank you to my patrons who helped me choose the topic. If you'd like to give a vote on what I should teach next and be a part of Color by Felix community, check out the link down below. And also if you recreate any of the pieces, there's a Facebook group, you can check that out where you know everybody gets to share their recreations and their artworks, which is really cool to see. If you're interested in that, check out the link down below as well. Okay, let's go over the materials needed for today. We need a couple of these blending brushes. These artist love brushes, this is a number eight. And then this is a number four. They are rough and very nice to work with. Any half an inch flat brush. And then any detail brush, this is a zero size zero but you can use any detail brush you're comfortable with. I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas and then also we need an artist sponge. For paint I like to use acrylics and we need titanium white, cadmium medium yellow, naphtho medium red, ultramarine blue, and carbon black. We need a palette, and I'm using a palette paper and then a palette knife to mix our paint. Some paper towels, a jar of water, and if you have this, a blow dryer to dry out your first coats. All these materials, including the tripod, canvas, and the paints and the brushes, you'll see links to them down below in the description if you're interested. All right, before we continue, I wanna quickly describe what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna have the cottage, you know, a little house, right, probably right here, far away. It's gonna be a little bit smaller, um, and there will be some, you know, plants and, you know, bushes and flowers going around it, and then um, the sky is gonna be probably very small uh, amount of space here, and the rest is gonna be green grass and flowers and trees maybe, and just things like that around here. And then there'll be a, like a little pathway here. Um, so that's the plan. Let's see what happens and have fun with this. So let's pick up our titanium white and our palette. And we're gonna create, I wanna create, since the sky's gonna be very small, I wanna create a couple you know, shades and just make a simple transition. So I'm gonna only make two this time. So about there and then a little bit here, about this much. Two thumbs here and then maybe a little more than a thumb here, a thumb and a little bit here. And we're gonna add ultramarine blue with it. So ultramarine blue and I'm going to add it in here, very small amount and maybe in here, a little touch like this, okay? Maybe a little more here, there. All right, and I'm gonna quickly mix that and we're gonna cover a small amount of uh, the sky, just this part right here, okay? So let's pick up our palette knife and then start with the lightest shade. Quickly mix that in All right, that's good right there. And then next. Will be a little bit darker blue. Okay, perfect. That's good right there. We have two colors. And now we can lay this out onto our canvas here. Let's pick up our water and one of our blending brushes. We're gonna dab it in. 
and then we're going to squeeze it out not all the way and then basically so the water won't drip right but there is a little bit of water in there and we're going to pick up our lightest color okay and then let us just put that in below here and I'm gonna dab the tip in the water very you know just really quickly like this and then I'm gonna pick up more paint and continue adding the color part of this is going to be covered so um, I'm going a little bit lower okay so I'm gonna dab the tip in the water again pick up more the rest of the paint and equally you know spread it out like this okay and then dab the tip again in the water and then let's pick up this darker color and I'm going to dab the tip again, pick up more, and equally spread it everywhere. Again, dab it, pick up more, the rest of it, add it right here in the corner. Okay, so our top is equally spread. And I'm going to bring it down a bit, lightly, very quickly like this. That's good. All right. And now I'm going to put my brush down and then pick up my second blending brush right here and start working dry. And I'm going to swirl it, okay? I'm going to lightly dab and swirl like this. Okay, so I'm going to do that starting from the lightest area. And I'm dabbing it and lightly swirling it, pulling the paint upwards like this. It blends everything nicely and spreads the paint equally everywhere very nice and simple sky today and there you go there you have it now while this dries I'm going to quickly clean out my brushes so they won't sit in the water too long and I like to use this handmade brush soap made with essential oils there's three different kind of flavors it's uh, made by one of our awesome patrons if you're interested this is specifically made to clean brushes check out the link down below in the description Okay, my brushes are clean and I got a new water. I'm going to quickly finish drying this out using this. Okay, let's continue. Um, I have, if you have the left paint, I like to use and not waste paint. So if you have a little bit left, use it. I'm going to add, maybe take all of this right here, very small amount. And I'm going to add a little bit but if you ran out it's just white and a little bit of blue I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to the to this we're gonna add um, far away hills and I'll show you what I'm doing so I added a very small amount as you could see of yellow and 
Okay, that's good right there. And I think I'm gonna add one more shade and we will add faraway hills. Okay, I've got a little bit of blue, yellow, and a touch of white, as you could see. We're gonna mix that in. And I think I'm gonna add a little more white to this and a little more blue, like this. I wanted to lean towards blue a little more because it's far away hills and I don't want it to be too green. I want it to be, you know, fading in from light to neutral color to kind of more brighter colors here, okay? So that's why I want it to be this color. Okay, that's good right there. Let's pick up our number four and I'm gonna dab it in the water so it could be nice and damp and I'm gonna squeeze it out and I'm gonna start with this color right here and if your shades are a little different that's that's fine okay experiment see what colors you um, you know you create it's never gonna be exactly the same as what I'm doing here um, so let's so the house is gonna be probably about this high. I'm gonna make it, you know, about, I'm gonna quickly sketch it out, probably about this high going in here, you know, like this. And then there's a chimney here. Obviously it's not gonna be green. I'm just quickly sketching it so you guys can kind of get an idea. And then it's gonna go down. Okay, and then that's where, you know, the door will be, window, you know, window here, window here. And then this is the roof. So we can make it actually a little taller, like this. I have my brush in the water so I won't use all the green. And I'm just sketching this out. This was unplanned. I just want you guys to get an idea of where that cottage will be. And then it'll fade out right in here. I think I'm gonna add another window there. All right, so let's now add far away hills in here so I'm going to blend it in dab my brush in the water and pick up more of this green and I'm going to blend it in like this And then use the same thing, maybe on this side. Okay, dab my brush in the water, the same color. There's gonna be a big tree here, so it's gonna cover most of this. You wanna sketch it out real quick like this. That's good right there. Now let's pick up our next color, this green one, and add it. Right in here. Maybe mix it in with this green on the bottom here.
and a little bit of this darker green right here. And then this around, maybe this lighter one right in here. Same thing here. That's good right there. All right. And then I cleaned out my blending brush. And so, with, and then I'm going to use a paper towel lightly and gently. You can see it's nice and clean. I'm going to. Um, swirl it on so it will gently, fully take most of the, you know, water out so it could be a little more dry, like this, okay? And then I'm going to softly blend everything in, you know, dab it and quickly blend everything in. And it, this part doesn't have to be perfect because this is just our base. Okay, like this. There you go. Now I'm going to add some black a little bit in here. Very small amount, you could see. And then I'm going to add a little bit of green, or I mean yellow. Very small amount. And then I'm going to take part of this, okay, part of this, and mix that in. That's good right there. Maybe also you could take part of this, and we're not going to use a lot of it, that's why I made a small amount, and then mix it in with this. We want to create a little darker and we're going to add some bushes and trees far away like this. And so now I'm going to use the same brush, number four. I'm going to clean it out, dry it out with a paper towel so it's you know not too wet but it is damp. And so I'm going to start with this lighter one right here that we quickly mixed. And it's okay if yours is a little lighter or darker, that's fine. As long as it's a little darker than these two colors. We're working from light to dark, okay? But you could see I didn't add too much, um, you know, dark color because these are far away. As soon as we get closer, we're going to add more contrast and more darker colors. And, um, you know, um, have fun with that. So let's, let's just add a few far away trees. Maybe there's one up here that's very tall and handsome like this okay and then i want to make it a little more pointier like that and then maybe there's another one right in here Okay, maybe there's some bushes and well I guess I'll make another little one here okay and then you can Draw out the shadows. By just dabbing it lightly. Okay, 
I think I'm going to make this one a little more taller. Like that. And then let's add a few on this side. Some of this is going to be covered, like I said. Do the same thing, follow the shadows, you know, your hills where you drew them. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this dark color onto this closer one. Maybe more on the bottom, right here. Just because it's closer. And now I'm going to switch to a number eight, a little bigger, and I'm going to work dry. I don't need to put it in the water. And I'm going to add this darker color here. I'm going to add some bushes, you know, like in there for fun. Okay, and then maybe some in here. this very quick maybe even use whatever color you have left and mix that in there maybe use a little bit of the lighter color Okay. And then same thing here, I'm going to add some. And like I said, some of this is going to be covered, so I'm not going to focus too much on adding details to this yet. Let's continue sketch out, you know, lay out our, our um, you know, house and everything else, and then we can come back and detail the little things. So let's let's continue there. I'm going to stop there and um, and then actually use up this the remainder of this color, lighter color in here randomly cuz I believe this is going to be covered, but we can add a little more. Like this. Okay? That's good enough right there. Now we can, um, let's detail the house and finish that and then we can work our way. Basically, that's what I'd like to do is work from the furthest distance to the closest, okay? So I'm going to now maybe add a little bit of this darker one to the bottom over here. shadows all right let's mix our paint to color in our house and detail it 
All right, this is what I have. A little bit of red, yellow, and white. I'm gonna quickly mix that in. Okay, that's good. And then the same thing here, red, white, and yellow. Mix that in. Pretty much should be the same color. But the reason why I did that is because I'm going to add a little bit. I'm gonna mix, like take the darkest color you have right here. And mix that in. That's totally okay. We're gonna create a color. This is, we're doing, we're basically creating, I think I'm gonna add some red. Uh, a color of our cottage. It could be blue, green, whatever you want, okay? I'm gonna make mine a little red. So, I'm gonna add a little more red right here and mix that in. So it's gonna be like brownish red. That's good right there. And I think I'm gonna add some white on the side a little bit of white for the roof. And I cl quickly cleaned out my palette knife onto the paper towel. I'm gonna take part of this and mix it in with the white. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of yellow to it. This is for the roof and the house. A little bit of yellow very small amount, quickly mix that in. That's perfect. All right, now let's pick up our half an inch brush right here and start off with this middle color right here. Okay, I'm gonna dab my brush in the water so it could be damp. And then I'm gonna pick up this middle color and this is gonna be our roof, okay? And I'm gonna sketch my roof really quickly. There's gonna be a tree here, so this part, I'm not gonna detail the left side too much. I'm gonna stop right there. And first things first, I'm gonna cover everything. the chimney here okay that's good. You know, make it as straight as you want. Okay, and then we're going to add this lighter color right here and we're quickly gonna start from here and 
add a little bit of detail to our roof. So add some in here. That's good right there. Okay. So we quickly added that. As you can see, it's really rough, but that's okay. We're going to gonna add the darker color. So I'm gonna clean out my brush and use the darker color here to underneath. to draw the color of our house. And I'm gonna cover everything and then add the windows in later. So it'll be easier to do that. So I'm gonna quickly, well, I'm gonna add some shadows in here real quick. I think I'm gonna make it actually a little darker, but I'll come back to that part. Okay, let's continue and cover our house color first. So we're gonna draw straight down like this. And I think I'm gonna add a little more red because I want another darker color. A little red and a little black. Okay, right here, some red and a touch of black. I'm gonna take part of this color, mix it in here. That's good right there. It's like a cherry color. Perfect. Let's continue with our flat brush and this color. And I'm going to you know, blend everything in because I'm gonna draw at the door later. So I'm gonna add the lighter colors here first. Like this. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to add this dark cherry color we mixed right here on the bottom. And then maybe under the roof right here. And 
maybe also right here. Now I'm going to quickly blend that in with my number eight. I'm going to clean it out real quick and dry it with a paper towel. And quickly blend those in lightly. Doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to take out the brush strokes. Maybe we're going to add a little bit of the lighter color in the middle. So what I'm going to do is pick up this color, remember, and put it right in the middle. Maybe some in here as well. And roughly blend those in. around like this it creates a nice like you know glow area down the middle all right there you go and now i'm going to clean out my brush and add some white to this part right here okay quickly clean out my palette knife so i won't carry the darks and take part of this, remember we mixed this color for the roof, take part of it and mix it in with the white. Small amount of white. And whatever color you get, use it. Perfect. And I'm going to clean out my flat brush in my water and dry it out with a paper towel. And we're going to use this color and add the light on this side. I'm going to make it as straight as I can. And you can spend a lot of time you know, making it perfect and detailed. It's going to be totally up to you how you want to do this part, okay? And then I'm going to make sure it's flat, nice and flat. And I'm going to draw Fade it out on the bottom there. And maybe you can use this orange right here on the bottom. Okay, and then maybe this one and add, I'm going to dab it in the water so it will be a little smoother. And I'll just quickly add the details. Maybe there's a window or something here. Like this, and I'm gonna switch to number four, dry it out with a paper towel, and blend those in. Since my brush is a little damp, it's gonna blend in easy. Like 
like this. There you go. I'm going to add a little bit of this and add it right here. Now I'm going to use my flat brush, clean it out again with a paper towel, and use, continue using this light color, and I'm going to add some details onto my roof. Like this, and then maybe some in here. really quickly. All these little details and highlights make the artwork stand out. And of course, you can go back and I'm going to use a detail brush real quick, dab it in the water. And you can also do this with a detail brush where, you know, Do a little uh, stuff from this side, maybe. Dab it in the water. Pick up more. Detail it a little more. Do the same thing on top, maybe. And now I'm going to clean my detail brush and use this cherry color. Dab it in the water and add a little bit of details. You know, outline and underneath the lighter area where you added, you know, add your darks and lights. Okay, dab my brush in the water. That's good right there. And add a little more darker areas right and underneath the where we added.
Okay, so now let's clean our flat brush and we're going to add some windows and detail the door, things like that. So our flat brush, and I have white. Let's just use straight white out of the tube. And we're gonna quickly draw the windows. Let's start with the door. We want the door to be right in here, probably this high. something like that. I cover everything and then detail it later. Okay, that's good right there for the door. And we're gonna have like a little arch here. So it's going to start from here and fade out in here. Window will be right in here, maybe a little bit higher. Dab my brush in the water so it can run smoother. Pick up more white, continue. And let's add another window on top. So about like this. Okay, and then the same thing here. I'm going to add a small window here. And then fade it out like this. And then there's going to be another window here. Something like that, OK? You can add your windows wherever you want it to be, but that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So now I'm gonna try to, you know, detail and make sure I get everything straight around the window as detailed as I want, so it could be a little bit more, you know, squared out, okay? So I'm gonna quickly do that um, right now. And I'm gonna do that by using a detail brush. So same thing, white and water, a little bit of water, and I'm gonna go around and detail everything like this, okay? Make sure it runs down equally the same. Okay, I straightened out the, the windows around with the white. Now let's continue, and remember this red, this cherry color? I'm gonna take the remainder of that, mix it in with the black, and maybe even take part of this to mix it in there. If you have that, if you don't, just add a little bit of red and a touch, very small amount of white or whatever color you have left here. It's totally fine. I just don't want to use straight black. Um, basically, right now it looks like a darker cherry color, almost leaning towards brown. So I'm going to use the detail brush, dab it in the water, and I'm going to swirl it, and I'm going to outline and detail the windows and think, you know everything around the windows and the door, okay? So first, let's start from this corner and I'm going to outline everything 
something like that. this and then continue and so now I'm going to add a little separation here and And the shadows with water and black. That's good right there. Same thing here. I'm going to go across like this and then I'm going to come back and, you know, detail inside the windows later. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to clean the brush and let's use a little bit of white. Okay, some white and it's going to give us a, a gray color. So maybe mix it in with the black like this with the white. Play around inside. Maybe a little darker. Use a little bit of white to draw in the. I think I should have left it like this. You know, and I'm playing around with the windows, seeing what I like best. All right, that's good enough right there. Now I'm gonna continue with this dark color and move on to this window and do the same thing. And some of this is gonna be covered by the tree, so I'm not gonna to focus too much on and I'm looking at this window, making sure it's almost, you know, like similar. So I might have to trim it down a bit more like this. Similar idea. I'm going to quickly sketch it out. That's good enough right there. Let's move on to our next one. some water, maybe a little bit of white. All right, 
that's good. Moving on. And our final window. That's good enough right there. And then our door. And then this arch. Dab it in the water. And now with to detail everything with um, number four, and it's a little damp and a little bit of this black color, go around and add the shadows really quickly. few final details with the detail brush you can go back and with this color right here this orangey color that we have left from the roof I'm gonna quickly add some highlights pretend that there you could see 
some of the bricks showing through. And you can fade it out and then you know space them out evenly. Okay, we can come back and detail the house a, a little bit later. Let's continue and cover some of this base color right here, all of this actually. And what I've got here is like a thumbnail of um, yellow and blue and a little bit of white and then more yellow and blue, okay? I'm gonna quickly mix that in. This will be our base grass color. And I just want to cover the whole canvas with these colors. All right, that's good right there. And then this should be a little more greener. So we might actually add a little more yellow and probably white, probably white. You could see it's almost similar color. So I think I'm going to add more yellow and white. Okay, right there. Right there, a little more yellow and white to our second color. That's much better. Quickly blend that in and then we'll cover the rest of the canvas. All right, that's good right there. doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to pick up my, remember that blending brush, I'm going to dab it in the water and squeeze it out. Similar idea of what we did with uh, background blue sky, right? And I'm going to pick up my darkest color first right here. And I'm going to, you know, cover this. And there's going to be bushes here, so I'm not going to focus too much. But you could see I'm working transparent with water. And I'm going to quickly cover part of this. I just want to cover the white canvas. So do the same thing here. There's going to be some trees and bushes, you know. And this part don't worry about this part. There's going to be a big tree here, so it's going to cover most of this. So, But for fun, cover it if you want. I usually cover it. When you have a nice base, it's easier to add more layers and blend it in the more layers you, you have on the canvas. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water again. And so we're going to have like a little path from here going in and coming out like this, like that, okay? There's gonna be a, like a little path here to the house. And so I'm gonna randomly pick up all the rest of this color. Okay, and then dab my brush in the water and pick up the remainder, the last color we have left and randomly put it in there all over, even in here. Okay. So 
same thing here. And we're going to cover everything, our whole canvas. Pick up the rest of the color. All right, we have a covered our canvas. And now I'm going to pick up my second blending brush that is dry right here. It may be a little damp from your last use, but I usually, when I clean my brushes, I usually, uh, you know, softly and gently uh, swirl it onto the paper towel so it, can, it won't be um, wet for a while. So now it's dry and I'm going to quickly do the same idea how I did with the sky. Quickly blend everything in roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect for this because this is our base. We're going to add a bunch of flowers and, you know, bushes and things like that. So we just want to quickly add, blend everything in. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Nice and easy. And I'm going to quickly dry that out. All right, now that it's dry, let's continue. And I'm going to pick up black and we're going to add a few. Like we're going to add a tree here and then maybe some bushes, you know, up in the back and then work our way up close. Okay, so let's work on the tree. So I'm going to pick up some black and add it right in here in the corner about this much and then I'm going to so I still have some green left I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna just bunch it up like this and I'm gonna take part of this green mix it in with the black And I'm going to add a little bit of red to it and some white and yellow because I think I want my tree to be a little lighter, not too dark. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I added some red, a touch of yellow and white. And when I take part of this black, part of it, and mix it in, with this. Okay, that's good. Basically similar color, like the house color, the brown color. Okay, and I'm gonna take part of this and create another shade. I'm going to put it right in here. So I'm going to add some yellow to it and some a little bit of more red right in here. So I actually added some white as well. A small amount of red and yellow, white. Mix all that in. That's much better. doesn't have to be perfect. That's good enough right there. So we could see it's going from light to dark, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up our, our half an inch brush, dry it out like this. And let's start with the dark and add where we want the tree to be. So I'm going to add tree going in it's probably going to go all the way to the top yeah let's let's draw all the way to the top and then maybe it curves here
rough sketch of our tree. Like that. Okay, we're gonna come back with the details, but first, right now, I'm going to pick up my Remember the Artist sponge here. I'm gonna dab it fully in the water all the way and squeeze it out completely so it could be nice and damp like this. And I'm gonna choose a corner that I like best and I'm actually going to mix another color real quick. Okay, so I quickly added blue, yellow, and a little bit of white and I'm gonna mix everything in. I just want a green color. Doesn't really matter which kind of green. That's good enough. It's leaning towards more bluish color, but that's totally fine, okay? That's the color we're gonna use. Right here. All right, now let's pick up our um, sponge here and pick the side you like best, and we're gonna start off with a little bit of this dark color. Okay, and I'm gonna roughly add, remember, like I said, this is gonna be covered. That's what we'll do. We'll cover all this part right here. Even if it covers a little bit of the window. Okay, that's fine. Like that. Same thing here. That's good right there. Okay. Randomly, your tree could look a little different. That's fine. Now, remember this green. So I'm gonna pick it up, do the same thing, and go over some of the black and add some details to our branches. make our tree stand out a little more. I'm not covering everything because I like the, I like the space right there on top. Fade it out right here. Okay, you can see I didn't add too much. I don't want it to cover too many, too much of the black, the shadows. All right. And for the final touch on this tree, for the leaves, I added yellow and a touch of red. You could see. I'm gonna mix that in. and then take part of this color, this green color, mix that in as well with it. It's gonna give us like a greenish orange color. Okay, that's good right there. Very small amount, small amount. And then do the same idea, but this time I'm gonna add a little bit of this color. I'm gonna go over and add a little bit of it, not too much. Okay, and 
if you did add too much, you can always go back and add the darker color, you know, to cover it up. Like right there, I think I'm going to add a little bit of, I think I added too much there, but that's okay. Um, but let's continue first. Add the details here. That's good right there. So I'm going to go back to the black and cover some of this. Maybe back to the green and, you know, play around. So it won't be too bright. Okay, that's good right there. And now I'm going to use my number four. And remember these colors that we have mixed. I'm going to take part of this lighter color here and add it on this side, on the right side of this tree. Okay. And then this darker brown color next to it. And maybe part of this color or white, whatever you have left, and add it on the right side again. And I'm going to use my detail brush in this black and go over. Touch up the areas. Water and black. Once you added all the details, you know, branches and to your tree, we can go back to the sponge and add a few more details, maybe with this green. And maybe also with this green, let's add some bushes right in here. Add some black. Maybe use some of this yellow for fun. So 
some more of this black color. to the screen and play around add your bushes I think I'm going to add more black in here you need some of this brown it's okay if you mix it up back to this yellow okay now I'm gonna use my number eight brush clean it out and then I'm going to blend some of this in so it won't be so sharp. So I'm gonna actually add a little bit more black. I just ran out. And let's add all the colors. Black, let's go ahead and add red, and let's add blue and yellow and white. And we're going to play around with these colors. Okay, so I added all the colors, white, yellow, red, blue, and black, okay? And we're going to play around. So let's start with adding, you know, with our number eight brush or any brush you're comfortable using. And I'm going to mix it in, make it pinkish, I guess. And I'm going to go ahead and add some pink right in here for fun like this okay I want it to be nice and colorful you could see it's creating like little shadows and flowers or th something like that so I'm gonna stop right there I'm gonna add this pink maybe some in here and maybe some in here okay All right, that's good enough right there. Now let's, for fun, mix our white and our blue. I'm kidding, let's go with yellow instead of blue. White and yellow, and then we're gonna add a different type of flower, you know, right in here. with white and yellow. Okay. Let's add some in here. I'm going to mix it in with the yellow, make it orange. Randomly add it there. And I think I'm going to finish the rest by using my, um, maybe add some in here for fun. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to come back to that. But I think I'm going to quickly finish everything here and then we'll add the details. Okay. So let's go ahead and add, I'm going to add a little more black and I'm going to mix it in with this green, part of this green. 
Okay, like that. And use the sponge again. And I'm going to quickly add in the details. So I'm going to add some bushes here. Okay, and then maybe some in here. This is where it gets darker and more colorful, but I need shadows to start off with. Okay, like this. That's good. Don't cover everything, you know, skip some areas. Let's add some in here. some of this green maybe some in here Lightly pressing. All right. Let's continue and add our I think I'm going to continue adding a little bit more black in this corner, like this. Now I'm going to quickly, you know, blend part of this in right here on the bottom with my number eight. While my paint is still wet, I'm gonna go over and add a little bit of the shadows. Make it look a little smoother and darker some areas. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water. Maybe take part of the black if you need to. Okay. darker in here.
you could see it's given us some landscape you know and, and bushes and things that's kind of what we want let's now add some um, quickly add our rocks so remember this light color we have mixed I'm going to take this color and add rock so I'm gonna add one right here skip one and add the bigger one in here and then maybe there's a big one right in here and then two little ones here like this and then I'm gonna use the white maybe part of the yellow it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna add that in there so I'm gonna clean out my brush I think I took too much water it's a little too wet so I'm going to use more white and yellow. added a little too much there that's okay now I'm gonna dry it out with a paper towel and quickly blend it all in we're gonna add more details to it in a bit now I'm gonna quickly dry everything out and we're gonna add details okay so now I'm gonna pick up my number four and I'm going to use this black and water and I'm going to add some shades so right underneath where the house meets the grass and bushes I'm going to add the dark color even on this side okay Just like this, that's good enough right there. And then I'm gonna add some darks around some of these bushes here. Dab my brush in the water again and use this black to add the shadows. Okay, moving on. I'm going to add some in here. Similar idea.
dab my brush in the water again, use the same color, I'm going to continue adding our shadows. Finger helps sometimes as well. a little bit darker on this tree. this rock I'm going to add shadows using this black and water Blend it out using your finger. Now let's pick up our number eight brush here and I'm going to add some flowers. So I got my white and my primary colors. I'm going to pick up the white and a little bit of this red, very small amount. Mix it in with the white and you'll get a light pink. It doesn't really matter what kind of light pink you have. And so right where I added the pink, I'm going to lightly, you know, dab this lighter pink on top and add a little more details to my pink here. Okay, 
it around this bush. Maybe some in here. Let's add a little more in here. You know, play around. I'm barely pressing, I'm not dabbing too much. Okay, that's good. I'm going to add some pink on this side, a little more. Maybe some in here, far away. Now let's switch to some white and a little bit of this yellow. And I want to add some on this branch a little more first. A little more here. Some yellow and white. And let's continue adding some in here.
clean out my brush and go back to just the white. And I want to highlight some of these, make them a little, stand out a little more. Okay, as we get closer, we're going to detail uh, the flowers a little bit bigger. So let's w use white and start off with white and um, let's do another red. So mix that in or pink color right here. And we're going to add a few, you know, closer ones here. Okay, and then some maybe in here. Okay. And then maybe on this side as well. So let's add darker red now.
Okay, I'm going to clean my brush and use Let's use some white and this blue. Let's add some blue flowers. Light blue ones. Mix it all in. You can add a little more blue if you want. So I'm going to add some blue right in here. another one right in here like that and then let's add some on this side here. Like that. Now we're going to use blue. And do the same thing we did with uh, red. Add a little bit of blue color mainly on the bottom, but go around and add in that nice blue color. We want these very vibrant and to stand out a little more than the background ones. Okay. some in here and then our final color we're going to add is the yellow so I clean my brush and I'm going to add some white and yellow. And let's add a few bigger ones. These will be the closest ones.
that's good right there and some yellow you could see it's very um, I'm just randomly adding it to get an idea okay and now I'm gonna clean my brush use the white if it has a little bit of the yellow that's okay but I want to add it right in here to my rocks make these a little lighter You mix it in with this brownish color or whatever color you have left a lighter color brush and use a little bit of this red with water and go around these rocks and blend you know blend them in okay and now going back to our number eight I'm going to use a little bit of white and just the white and I'm going to dab some in here these are like little flowers and then fade it out my detail brush and this black if you ran out add some more black like this and straight out of the two black works I'm gonna very small you know very small amount I'm gonna outline my rock make it a little sharper okay with water clean my clean or dab my brush in the water and lightly as you go further fade it out we don't want to add too much of the dark
that. And then I'm gonna add some white on top of, maybe mix it in with the red a little because I'm gonna add it to the pink flowers here. White in here.
and with number four, find a few details and water. We're gonna a little bit add the darks in here. And then let it fade out like this. and yellow. And blend those in. And then with a little bit of red, maybe some black, I'm gonna go over these rocks and add a little bit of the shadows from the light, like this. That's good right there. You know, you can go back and detail, add a bunch of details on the flowers, on the house, totally up to you. Maybe even right here, I'm gonna clean my brush, maybe right here, add a little bit more yellow to your grass with water on this side. And then leave the other ones fade out, but a little bit I would add a little more green or a little bit of water and yellow to this side of the hill. So a little more, maybe go on to the tree as well. You can use your finger to blend it all in. Maybe at, um, with white and a little bit of yellow, you can, you know, make some of this stand out a little more. Okay. Clean out your brush and blend it in lightly. And for the few final details, with the white on the detail brush, go over the blue ones and add some white little flowers.
can add a few more little birds. Alright, I'll call it a day. I am done. I can, you know, go back and detail everything and add the shadows, the lights. Totally up to you how much detail you want, okay? Have fun with this. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you for tuning in and being here. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Take care and God bless.